Let us now learn the property of the angle bisectors of a triangle. So children, I have drawn a triangle here which is named triangle X, Y, Z. We are going to learn the property of angle bisector of this triangle. Now as they are saying angle bisector, that means we have to draw angle bisectors of these three angles. Okay. So now let's start seeing. First, I'll keep on Y. I'll take some distance in my compass and I'll draw an arc in this way. Okay. Later on, I will keep my compass on this point. Little bit, I'll extend the distance and I'll draw an arc. Now, without changing, I'll keep my compass point here and I'll draw other arc. Okay. Now, I have finished drawing the angle bisector of angle y. Now I am going to join this. See in this way. Now little bit bigger line I am going to draw. Okay. Now I will name here P Q R. Okay. So now what I will do? I will draw an angle bisector at z. So I will take compass. I will keep on z and what I am going to do? I am going to draw an arc here. Understood? Now, I will keep my compass on this point and I will draw an arc from this point in this way. Okay? Now, I will keep here and I will draw an arc in this way. Understood? Now, with the help of the pencil and scale, I am going to join this two points that is in this way I'll draw a little big hmm? now if you want you can name this also L M N okay now we are going to construct the last angle bisector of angle X okay so I'll keep here little bit I'll decrease the distance okay and I am going to draw an arc. Okay. Now, I will take, I want to increase the distance little bit. So, I am going to increase it. Now, I will keep here and I am going to draw one arc. Now, I will keep here and I will draw other arc. Okay. It is little bit uh, confusing here but it's very easy because you all know how to construct the angle bisector yes now here I'll join in in this way okay so now can you see all the three points meeting together at this point here yes so are they meeting each other means all these lines or rays whatever have come they are concurrent to each other okay so these three bisectors pass through the same point that is they are concurrent okay and this point becomes the point of concurrence we have studied last year a point through which many lines pass is called as point of concurrence so we are going to label this point as I. What we are going to name it as I. Did you understand here? And children remember the point of concurrence of angle bisector of a triangle is in the interior of the triangle. Understood? Now what we will do? So what we have learned first to draw. First we are going to draw a triangle. Then we are going to draw angle bisectors of these three ones, three angles. Then we see, we can see that the angle bisector intersect each other at a point and that point is called point of concurrence and we label it as I. Okay, now or name it as I. 
and always remember the point of concurrence of angle bisectors of a triangle always lie in the center of the triangle okay now what we will do we will draw perpendiculars from this i now i am not using the method i am showing you directly i have shown you know how to draw perpendiculars now if you will see then the perpendiculars will come in this way means a straight line okay now i'll just rotate my book to draw the perpendicular i'll make this line straight for me is this line straight yes see yeah to the screen i'm just checking yes now the line is straight so here i will draw perpendicular okay and now are you able to see yes now i'll turn my book once again and for the third side i'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector so this line i'll take near to the screen in this way hmm? now i'm going to construct the third perpendicular of this triangle so in this way i'm getting okay now if you will check the length of this perpendiculars okay i will make my book proper so that you can see it clearly i will name it suppose i want to name it a b and c okay so this points a b c i have named means see what are the perpendiculars i a okay that is this one i b and other one is i c okay now if you will check the length of this perpendiculars from i see i will just show you see i have taken and i'll just overlap here ha huh? and i'll overlap here see is it coming same yes that means see i can draw a circle which is touching the triangle properly yes so this so here we are getting see a third one i'll show you third perpendicular little bit it has changed see ha i'll show so here is the third perpendicular i c okay so see this all three perpendiculars are equal in length okay so this was the property of angle bisector what you have to keep in mind the point of concurrence of angle bisector is named as i and the perpendiculars whatever you draw from this i are of equal length okay so now le let's move on to the next property let us now learn the property of perpendicular bisector of a triangle so here i have drawn an obtuse angle named triangle pqr okay so this is an obtuse triangle and now we are going to draw perpendicular bisectors of all these three sides so i have shown you how we are drawing the perpendicular bisector once again pay attention now first we are going to draw the perpendicular bisector of said qr okay so for that we are going to keep the compass on point q take more than half distance and draw an arc up and one arc down okay now we are going to keep on r don't change the distance and we are going to draw arc up and one arc down now my arcs are not intersecting i will extend this arcs which are from point q in this way and this in this way are you able to see my both the arcs okay now 
we will draw the perpendicular bisector of the other side before that we will join this two points in this way okay so here i have i'll just extend it little big up okay so here i have drawn the first perpendicular bisector now i'll draw perpendicular bisector of pq so i'll keep on p take more than half and draw an arc here and one arc other side now i'll keep on q draw an arc here same arc i'm getting okay an arc this side in this way just a minute huh? in this way okay don't overlap the arcs here i have little bit extra part i'll just erase that by mistake so i have got my arc here now i'm going to join this two arcs so here is the point and this is here so i'll extend it in this way so if that arcs are erased no problem because our line is important hmm? so here i have done okay now i'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector of the third side that is pr it is little big side so see i'll take more than half in this way i'll draw an arc up and one arc down other arc from p without changing the distance up and one down so from r little bit i'll extend here sorry here okay it's done now i'm going to join this two arcs upper one and the down one in this way are you able to see how i have drawn the line so my three perpendicular bisectors are completed okay now if you will see out so now if you will observe the diagram or the construction then you can see that this 1 2 and 3 perpendicular bisectors are joining or intersecting each other at a point here and this point is outside the triangle this tells us that these lines are concurrent okay and this point is called as point of concurrence which is named as c okay now earlier we have seen the point was named i in angle bisector and in perpendicular bisector it is named as c but both are point of concurrence so when you are drawing perpendicular bisector the point of concurrence is c yes now what we are going to do children see that we will take a compass okay and we'll keep on point c in this way and we will adjust this at the every vertex so if i will adjust you can see that it is joining all the three angles of the triangle see 1 2 and 3 yes this tells us that the distance from c to angle p okay that is i'll write here distance c p c q c r 
are equal to each other. So you can draw a circle for this which will be outside the triangle. Okay. So this was the property of perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. Did you understand children? So see what we have done. First we drew a triangle and then we have drawn the perpendiculars of these three sides. And these three sides perpendiculars bisected or intersected each other at a point C which was outside the triangle. And the distance of CP, CQ and CR is equal and so we are able to draw a circle at the outer side of a triangle. Okay. Did you understand here? So now let's recall in short about both these properties. So let's recall these properties. What we have learned is that the property of the angle bisector of a triangle. In this, the angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent. Okay, what we have learned? The angle bisectors of the triangle are concurrent to each other. The point of concurrence is called in center because we get circle inside it. Yes, so its point of concurrence is called in center and it is shown by letter I. Did you understand? Later on we had studied the property of perpendicular bisector of a triangle. Yes, so we had drawn perpendiculars of the three sides of triangle and here we had learned that the perpendicular bisectors of these triangles are concurrent to each other. Also, it has point of concurrence which is called as circumcenter because we get a circle outside it which is joining its vertices. Now, as there was insufficient place, my circle is not completed here. But the circle what we get by perpendicular bisector, it joins the vertices and we get a circle outside it. Okay, so the point of concurrence is called as circumference and it is shown by letter C. So in your textbook, they have given perpendicular bisector of acute angle also. If you will see that in that the point of concurrence is coming inside the triangle okay but then too that point of concurrence is equal from the vertices means you will get circle outside only okay so you can see that in your textbook i'll show you just see here so this is the point of concurrence of x y z so from here if you will take distance of z and draw a circle then it will join at x and it will join at y understood so here we are getting circumcenter and in angle bisector we are getting in center here it is denoted or said letter c in angle bisector it is said i okay so did you understand the two did you understood the two properties yes okay